up if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back to my channel i'm jerry and you're watching life with jerry as you guys can see by that title and that thumbnail today i'm actually going to be opening up to you guys a whole lot this is actually a story i've been holding in for so many years this happened to me freshman year of college but i'm gonna tell you about the first time it happened to me I'm not sure if i'm ready to talk about the second time just yet since it is about to be 2021 i think it's time for me to finally open up about this and actually speak about it and really let it go um i don't open up like this on my channel that much i usually just do like pranks challenges i do story times but not like this personal so it's gonna be a real serious one um i feel like for the most part i have actually healed from this like i don't genuinely feel like it still takes a big toll on me but i do feel like um what's the word i'm looking for i feel like like unintentionally or whatever the word i whatever the word is i can't even think right now i'm sweating thinking about having to tell this damn story um I feel like in a way it take unconsciously it takes a toll on me as far as like relationships and how I handle dudes and things like that but I feel like it's not nothing too big I don't know I haven't really talked about this only maybe one or two of my friends really know that this has happened to me before and when it comes to the second time it happened to me only two of my friends probably know about that as well i don't really talk about personal personal stuff like that i just feel like it takes me a while to even process that that is what happened it took me a really long time to process that that was what happened to me and after that happened i really became very very hypersexual i i don't know but anyways before we get into this video, because I'm just going on a tangent here, before we get into this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, share, follow me on all of my social medias, there are in the description box and on the screen, and if you follow me on Instagram, I got you with a shout out, we're on the road to 10k and 200k here on the tube, period. And without further ado, get this video 50 likes and let's get into the story time. So disclaimer, I'm not making this video for a clout to bash anybody. Um, I'm not making this video for attention or anything like that. Like I said, for the most part, I am completely healed from this, if that makes sense, which is why it took me so, so long to tell the story. I've actually been wanting to tell it for over a year now, but within the past year, I had to do a lot of healing. I had to do a lot of processing because the second time that it happened to me was just last year, and that was a lot. I'm still not fully even healed from that situation, but from the first time it happened, this particular story, I think I'm pretty good to talk about it. I don't think I'm going to cry or anything like that. I feel like like it's been a long time it happened to me what 2016 I want to say or maybe 2017 I'm not sure but it happened freshman year of college um and yeah so yeah this is a serious matter so if things like this or conversations like this make you uncomfortable it's okay to click off this video and watch a different video of mine or watch something else you don't have to watch this video I just think I need to finally actually speak it out and talk about it so I'm like why not just make it into a video because I'm not the type of person I don't like putting my burden on my friends I don't I don't know like I could talk to them but a lot of the time I, I just don't, I keep a lot in, so it's more so easier for me to turn on a camera and talk about it, so I'm like, why not make a story time about it? It's my channel, it's my life, so yeah. Okay, so let's get into the story because I feel like I'm talking way too much. So this was freshman year of college. Once again, this was a really long time ago, so some stuff is a bit blurry to me, um, but I'm gonna try to recollect and remember as much as I can for you guys. This was when I was cool with so many people, I had so many friends, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know doing my little thing but then that quickly came to a turn but that's not the point okay so this was freshman year of college jerry get it together get it together get it together i think i'm nervous like actually having to talk about this so i'm like doing too much but anyways for the last time this was freshman year of college i'm so sorry guys one of my friends she was talking to this guy we're gonna name him dude we're just gonna name him dude so one of my friends was talking to this guy dude and she really wanted to go hang out with him at his house and chill with him and um a couple weeks before that dude and his friend oh boy no trifling we're gonna call him trifling dude and trifling had came up to our school and i thought trifling was really cute i did i was like oh my gosh he's so cute like 
put me on, you feel me? Like freshman year, I was shy, I couldn't really put myself on. I was like really shy, so I used to always tell my friends like, put me on, you feel me? Tell your friend to tell his friend, like I think he cute, you know, on that childish stuff. So I did think trifling was cute, I did. And I wanted to get to know him better. Like freshman year of college, I really wasn't there to like be having sex with people and all this stuff. Like I genuinely wanted to make connections with people. I wasn't on that type of time, that just wasn't, what I was there for, you feel me? And plus, back then, everybody used to hype up how Atlanta was like the main place for like HIV, AIDS, STDs, so I really wasn't trying to be out there having sex for real, so that wasn't my intention with him at all. I do wanna put that out there. Just cause I think somebody's cute or I wanna talk to somebody or get to know somebody does not mean that I have the intention of having sex with them. So, <sighs> ooh. So I had told her to put, I told her to put me on with him and you know, words were exchanged and things like that. So fast forward to when she wanted to go to his house, they were roommates in, ooh, I almost said his name. Dude and Triflin, I almost said Triflin's name. Dude and Triflin were roommates and me and my friend were really, we were just really close at the time. And so I was like, yeah. She was like, um, I wanna go to his house, da, da, da. can you come with me? Cause I don't wanna go by myself. Plus Triflin is gonna be there so y'all could like kick it while me and dude, you know, kick it and do what we do. I'm like, yeah, of course, I'll come with you. Like I'm the type of friend, I'm not gonna let my friends go anywhere by themselves. I never let my friends leave by themselves. If we came together, we came together. If one's ready to go, we just gotta go. You feel me? Like that's just how I was and am like I just that's how I am like I'm just big on safety and security and staying together so I'm like y'all come with you especially because it's your first time going to this person's house and she was like yeah and we could really like if you're uncomfortable like just being with him by himself since this is your first time hanging out with him we could all hang out together I'm like bet can we do that because I'm shy around dudes like I don't know how to act around dudes and I don't know how to speak. Like back then, I was very vulnerable. I didn't know how to speak up for myself. If I didn't want something or I didn't want to do something, I kind of wouldn't necessarily say it. Like I'd just be like really shy or standoffish. Like I was very soft spoken, very shy. Like I was still like outgoing and still spoke up for myself to a certain extent. But when it came to guys, like I don't know what it was. I just was nervous. I was shy. I just couldn't really speak up. So I'm like, yeah, can we just all be together, like watch movies or kick it or something? You know, it's the first time going over these people's house. Anyway, I don't want to just be by myself with this guy. Like, yeah, I thought he was cute, but I don't know him from a can of paint to be by myself with him, you know? So she was like, yeah, we can do that. So. We split the Uber, we go over there. Um, in the beginning, we all were hanging out together. We were all chilling. It was a good time. Like, we were having fun. I was getting to know him. Um, he was a bit touchy, like, trying to be, like, on me and stuff, and I was, like, moving him. Um, I was, like, leaned on him, but, like, I didn't want him, like, rubbing up on me and stuff. Like, I wasn't comfortable with that, so I kept moving his hand and stuff. And we were just all chilling, and that was just that on that. And it was a good time, except for the parts of him being touchy, and that was red flag number one. That should have had me like, no, I don't want to be here no more because he's not understanding. Like, I kept moving his hand, like, stop. No, you know, but I was starting to get a little scared because he was being like a little bit more passive aggressive with it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared. Like, he's kind of strong. Like, I'm gonna just chill and hope that we just all still hang out together because there's not much he can really do when everybody's right here. Anyway, because they had like two other friends there or one other friend or something like that. Like, it was a full house. So I'm like, okay, he's just trying to like touch up on me. I'm tired of telling him to move and stop because he was just being like real aggressive still doing it and it was scaring me so I just kind of let him do it which I shouldn't have done but as a young woman even now like people don't understand sometimes I don't even know how to explain that so I'm not even gonna get into that but just know like somebody basically coercing you or making you do something you don't want to do is still a it's still like it's not consent. Just because you did it or you said yes to it, if they forced you or made you feel like you had to say that, it's still not necessarily consent. But I digress, you feel me? That's not the conversation we're gonna get into right now. But yeah, so I just kind of didn't say nothing. I just let it happen because I felt like kind of scared. I'm not even gonna lie. So um, he was just touching on me and stuff. And then next thing you know, two of their friends, like they left or went to go play the game or something. I don't know, they like went away. So it was just us four, my friend, 
dude, me, and trifling. And so I'm like, okay, it's just four of us. I pray that my friend still stays here because I'm getting kind of nervous, getting kind of scared out here in these streets with this man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I like started leaning up, like trying to not lean on him no more because we was like kind of cuddled up, but I kept like moving away because like I felt uncomfortable and he kept like pulling me back. And I'm like, this is kind of creepy. So um, the dudes had went into Trifling's room to talk. I'm pretty sure they were talking because they wanted to get us along with each other. Um, so when they left, I was telling her like, I'm kind of uncomfortable with him. I don't know if I want to be left alone with him. So if he tries to get you to go away, can you just like make an excuse so we can all still hang out together? Because I don't feel comfortable, you feel me? And she's like, yeah, I got you, did it up. What's he doing? And I'm like, well, he's just touching on me and I'm like telling him to move, but he's like still doing it, you feel me? And she was like, oh yeah, um, maybe he just really likes you, did it And I'm like, fuck, you feel me? I'm like, bitch, no, that's not what the fuck the case is. But I just kind of let that go and I'm like, okay, yeah, but at the end of the day, like just make sure we still hang out, all four of us, please. Next time you could come by yourself if you want, y'all hitting it off, that's fine. I just won't come because I don't feel comfortable with this man. And she was like, okay, and I was trying to be a good friend. I'm like, I don't want to ruin your time here with him. So I don't want to say that, can we leave or something? Like I was that type of person. Like I just didn't want nobody to ever be mad at me. Nobody to feel no type of way towards me, all this stuff. So I always went out of my comfort zone to make other people happy. So I'm like, you feel me? I want you to still have a good time. I want you to still be here with him. That's by me feeling uncomfortable. So can we just all hang out, all four of us. And next time you come by yourself or something. She's like, yeah, bet, that's fine. I'm like, okay, great. So I'm feeling a little better because she said that she wouldn't do that. Because I'm not slow. I know how dudes are. They all, like, if they rock it with somebody, especially because her and him were on the verge of, like, talking heavy. So, of course, he's going to want to be with her by himself. But sorry, sir, I don't feel comfortable with your friend. So, no. So they come back out or whatever. They look a little sus. I ain't going to cap. They was looking a little sus. And I'm like, okay, yeah, something's up. So he, like, whispers something in her ear. And she was like, okay. And they went in his room. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, didn't I just tell you, like, I just, it blew me. Like, it really blew me. And I'm like, okay, now I just have to try to calm myself down because I'm like, my heart is beating so fast. Like, I have this gut feeling that something bad is about to happen. And yet, I'm still trying to be a good friend. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just pray that nothing happens. God got me. I'm going to just be good. I'm going to be good. So she went in the room with him. They was doing whatever they was doing. I really don't know what they were doing. And so he was like, hey, check it out telling me to come in his room and i'm like i really don't want to go in your room like i don't feel comfortable can we just watch tv out here he like nah my other friend's about to come out here and play the game so we got to go in the room i'm like we have to go in the room he's like yeah just come in there you don't even got to be all up on me or nothing just come in the room like we just gonna chill you can sit on a complete opposite side of the bed and i'll sit on the opposite side of the bed we just gonna talk get to know each other my ass thinks this is genuine so i'm like okay sounds good like that's fine i'm comfortable with that I consent to that. So I go in the room with him. He closes the door. I'm like, can we leave it open? He like, nah, because the game going to be hella loud. I'm trying to talk to you, get to know you. And my ass was just thinking like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, fine. You close the door. And so um, I'm sitting on the other side of the bed. He at the top of the bed or whatever. He takes his shirt off. And I'm like, he's not even attractive at this point because I feel uncomfortable and it just what he was doing just made him completely unattractive to me so I'm just chilling I'm texting my friends that are back at the school just texting acting like everything's fine not even telling them I'm scared or nothing um and we're just texting and he's talking to me trying to like get to know me but I could tell like it was kind of like just trying to make conversation because it was kind of awkward in there so he's just trying to get to know me and stuff i'm just replying to him like to answers to his questions and then asking basically his questions back at him i really wasn't listening because i at this point i really didn't care i was just trying to pass time for her to get done with whatever she was doing so we could leave like i was just really trying to pass time because i had this gut feeling and then he was like hey come here check it out like come lay with me and i'm like i don't want to lay with you like i just don't feel comfortable laying with you because when we were outside i was telling you like not to touch me in places and you were still doing it very aggressively and he's like okay i get it i apologize like i'm sorry sometimes i could just get excited you just look really good i really like you and i was what fresh out of high school 18 years old um I, when I was younger, like, when I was, like, in high school and stuff, I really seeked, like, 
I was the type of girl, I don't know how to explain it. So my parents divorced or whatever, so I always used to seek approval from men, if that makes sense. Not like in a way like sexually or anything, but if a man thought I was cute or like he was like interested in me, I'd all automatically like be like, oh yeah, I wanna talk to him. Even though it wasn't even me being attracted to him or nothing, I just was feeling for attention from a male figure, you get what I'm saying? Um, just based off, not just my parents divorcing and my dad not being in my life, just based off other things that's happened in my life back then. I'm not like that anymore, but back then I was. So I'm like, oh, he thinks I look good. Like he just couldn't keep his hands off me. Like you feel me? I'm a bad bitch. So I'm like, okay, I guess I could lay with you. That's harmless or whatever. No, Jerry, wrong decision, but it, you know, hey, so, um, I go, I lay up with him or whatever, and he's like, um, what did he say? He was like, he was just rubbing on my booty, and I'm like, can you please not rub on my booty? Like, I just don't want you rubbing on my booty. And he was like, why? So I had to think quick. I'm like, because I'm on my period. I don't want you to feel my pad. Like, I'm just, I'm not on my period. I was not on my period, but I just, that was a good idea, I guess, for me to say. So I'm like, no, because I'm on my period. I don't want you to feel my pad or whatever. He like, I didn't feel no pad outside, and I'm like, He's kind of right, cause I wasn't on my period. So I'm like, okay, that's not the point. Like, I'm just, I'm not feeling it or whatever. And so then he was like, okay, well, since you're on your period, can you give me some head? I'm like, no, mind you, I've never, what, I was 18. I don't, I've never sucked dick at that time. Like I was never, I wasn't really sexually active. Like it just wasn't in me. Like I didn't have sex with nobody or do nothing with nobody unless I really, really liked them. That's how I was. And I, at that point, I think I've only had sex with one person before that. So yeah, one person or so, one or two people, I think <laughs> my two exes before that. So I was not the type of person to just, you know, I lost my virginity at 16. I had gotten to like two relationships. Both were pretty lengthy relationships. So we like, I, I was sexually active with those people. They were my boyfriends at the time. So those are the only two people I had sex with prior to this situation. So I'm like, no, like I don't give myself up that easy. Like that's not how this works. And I'm like, and I really don't give head. Like I don't believe in putting my mouth on everybody's penis. Even my exes, both of them, I've never gave them head. Like I've never given anybody head at that time. Like that's just, I damn near had to like really, really love you to give you head. Like I don't believe in putting my mouth on everybody's penis. Sorry. No. So I was like, no, I'm not giving you head. He's like, but you on your period. Sorry, it's hot in here. He was like, but you're on your period and what I wanna do, we can't do, obviously. And I was like, man, I'm not, I don't know why I said this. Like, what the, what was going through my head? Like, I think I was just so nervous and shy. I was just blurting stuff out. But I was like, I'm not even on my period. I just don't want you touching me and I, I'm not giving you head. Like, I was getting mad. So like, I was like, I'm not giving you head. Like, I'm not even on my period. I just don't want you touching me. And so he was like, oh, okay, da 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 da. So we just laying there, it's real awkward, cause at that point, like I got really frustrated with him and I kinda like slick yelled at him. He was like, man, you tripping, da da da. So it just got really awkward. So we're just laying there, I'm chilling. I like turned the other way, cause I didn't wanna like be laying on him or nothing. And I scooted over, like I wasn't, booty wasn't on him, nothing. I scooted over, I turned the other way, cause I'm like, at this point, I'm just waiting on my friend. Um, so everything was chill for about like 10, 15 minutes. Then all I heard was like, man, fuck this. And I'm like, like is he about to leave like hopefully he's gonna just leave me in here and I'll be good and next thing I feel his hand grab me and pull me and I'm like uh-uh like can you get off me I don't like I don't want to do nothing with you he like nah I want sex so we're about to have sex and at that moment like I'm like, wow, so because you want sex, you feel like you could just take that from me. Like, you just feel like you can get that. Like, mind you, I had on tight ass jeans, hella cold, like, it was kind of cold outside, plus I already know what boys be on sometimes, so I tried to layer up type shit. Like, I don't know, I just had a gut feeling, so like, I just was trying to, I don't know. I just feel like I had to protect myself, so I wore a lot of clothes. Next thing you know, the next thing I know, he's on top of me and he's inside me, like literally. I I was just so shocked, so stuck. Like I, I remember saying, no, I don't wanna have sex with you. Like, no, 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 moving his hand and stuff. And at one point I just kind of felt defeated and it just ended up happening. And all I could do was just lay there in disgust at myself. Like I felt so disgusted in myself. Oh my gosh, like, oh man. I thought I was gonna like cry or nothing. I'm trying to like, okay. 
Whew, cause I felt it about to come up. I felt it about to come up. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I was just laying there and I just felt so disgusted and so defeated and just so like over myself. Like, I don't know. I just was thinking like, I was beating myself up about it. And I'm like, maybe that is what I wanted. Maybe, maybe he didn't do this. Like I'm just, all this stuff was going through my head. Like I didn't really know how to process what had happened. And I'm like, wow, like I, I, I didn't know how to feel. Like I just felt so disgusted in myself. I felt so vulnerable, so weak, so like I had no authority over my own body, over myself. Like I just, I didn't know how to feel. Like I just, it was so much going through me and I'm like, I can't tell my friends about this. I can't tell nobody. Like I just, I, I look, I, I felt weak. Like I just, I don't know how to explain how I felt to this day. I don't know how to explain it, but that's that happened. He was he ended up being finished. Um, I can't mind you. He did he did go in me raw, but he pulled out. He didn't like nut in me or anything. Um, I did get checked like a week or two later. I didn't get catch anything or anything. Um, but I just was so disgusted with myself. And then all I remember is like afterwards. I was so shocked, like I was just quiet. I, I didn't say a word to him, nothing. I was just ready to go. I text my friend, I'm like, can we please go? Like, can we please leave? I don't wanna be here anymore. If you don't wanna come, I will leave. I'm about to call my Uber. We can either split this or this will just be my Uber. I'm leaving, like I can't be here anymore. Like I tried to stay here to be a good friend to you, but I just can't do it. I can't stay here anymore. Pulled my pants up and stuff, cause he, he when he was done, he was done. He just left me on that bed. So pull my pants up, like I just felt so disgusted in myself and I just, all I could think of was just lie. Like, don't tell her what really happened. So when we went outside and we was in Uber, she's like, did you have a good time? I just had to play it cool. I'm like, yeah, I had a good time. Um, mind you, I don't even, I didn't even have to tell her this, but I just, I, I, I don't know what was going through my head, but I was just like, yeah, we had sex and it was good. And I, I, yeah, I loved it. And I feel like I shouldn't have had sex with him because now I feel like a hoe because I barely know him, but it was good and da, 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 da. Mind you, it wasn't good. It was really forced. My vagina was hurting. I felt so weak. I just wanted to cry. I just had to put on this front because I knew he was gonna go brag to his friend about it and his friend was gonna tell her and she was gonna ask me and I just couldn't face her or face myself with the reality of what really happened so I lied. And she was like, oh yeah, well me and him didn't do nothing. We was just really kissing. He like fingered me, but that was about it. So you really did that, da 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 da. And I'm just feeling even worse about myself now because I'm thinking they was in the room getting it on because, you know, they're he talking heavy. But obviously, like, that might not have been. Like, everybody's not like that, obviously. So I'm not saying I felt like she was like that at that time or anything. But that's what I thought was happening because, I don't know, that's just what I thought was happening. So now I'm like, damn, now I look like a hoe or something when it wasn't even consensual. And to this day, I'm pretty sure she still thinks it's consensual. Me and her aren't really friends anymore. And we've never talked about that situation after that day so I'm pretty sure she just to this day still thinks it was consensual but it was not consensual and that was probably one of the worst days of my life I dealt with that by myself for years I think I finally had told my friend Michaela about it like maybe last year or the year before that but for about a year or two, I dealt with that by myself. I went through a really, really hard depression. I ended up becoming really sexual, like really hyper, like I just always wanted sex. And it wasn't like I was just having sex with everybody. That was still not the case. I still was very, very picky, very choosy with who I had sex with. But when I did have sex, I had to make sure in, in the bedroom, I was in charge. I called the shots, like nobody had power over me etc etc like that's who I kind of became at one point um and I used to be really shy like I didn't like people see I didn't like people looking at me naked I didn't like like I had gotten to a relationship didn't like him looking at me naked like the way I moved after just completely shifted I didn't like him touching me certain ways like my ex my the dude that I ended up dating a little like a year or two after this happened just so much, like so much about me changed. I wasn't me anymore, you know? And it was just, it was a hard time. It really was. It's so much more like kind of to it, but I don't really want to get into it like that because 
a bitch just almost fucking started crying on this bitch and I didn't even think I was gonna do that. But I feel so much better actually finally letting this out because I really don't talk about this. Like there's so much in my life that I've been through that I just don't talk about. And yeah, so I think what I'm ready to talk about when it happened to me the second time, which was about a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe a couple months. Uh, yeah, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I think when I'm ready to talk about that, I'll give you guys a part two or that story time when I'm ready to talk about it. But I don't know if I'm ready to talk about that yet, just because that one is really still fresh. And it's just so wild to me how it happened again. And that way it happened was just completely different and completely trifling. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys can learn from my story. Don't beat yourself up about anything that ever happens to you. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. There's nothing that you could have done differently in a situation that could have made it different. And I'm talking to the people who has been through what I've been through. Like, it's just, it's so much I want to say. But if y'all only have, like, a girl talk about this or, like, advice or something or how I got over it or how I ended up coming back to being myself, being comfortable again, being good around men and things like that, um, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a whole lot more serious than any of my videos have ever really been. But yeah, I, it feels good to finally get that off my chest and finally really talk about it. I feel like I might've left some stuff out, but like I said, that was years ago. So it was really, really, it's, it's, I remembered what I could, um, which is the main parts obviously. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification. Peace, love, and blessings. I love you so much gang and i'll see you guys in my next video let me leave you on a quick positive note beat your face not people bye